finances, we plan our expenditure, and immediately we started improving on the percentage payment at the local level. And uh, to the glory of God Almighty, he settled the former governor of Kogi State, he settled Elijah Abelo, handed over to me at the point of 70% at the local government level. And um, as somebody that learned through the system, I had to devise a style of cutting down the cost of governance. And I'll tell you, the very day I was sworn in, yes. I made some appointment. It was a deliberate uh, attempt to cut down the cost of governance. People call me that, why should you return some of those that you serve together? I say, well, I have my own reason. I have my own plan because I am coming to serve the people of Kogi State because this mandate is a trust bestowed on me to hold for them and to serve them sincerely and with integrity. One of the reasons is this. Up to now, none of them can ask for official vehicle. None of them can put up a claim for accommodation and all what have you. The new appointees, my table is, is uh, my file is full now, requesting for official vehicle, requesting for accommodation, and of course, you have to provide that. I have to call them and talk to them to let us see how our people can be served. Secondly, I am still using my car as Auditor General for local government because our people need to be served. We have to serve them and not, uh, and not to be served. Two, I was once a civil servant. I know what it is for somebody to work for 30 days at the end of it all. You don't have uh, anything to show for it. And that is why I said we need to appreciate Mr. President for his policies, for his programs. Then we need to work with his uh, idea under the Renewed Hope uh, Initiative so that we can jointly pull ourselves out of this uh, inherited uh, economic uh, crisis being faced by the country. So what we do is to look at our finances, make salary payment as priority. As it's coming in, we have to take care of it before going into any other expenditure. We are at 90% and we are going to get there. And I want to correct one impression. Kogi State has since implemented the 30,000 Naira minimum wage. The records are there. You can contact our union. You can verify it yourself. I don't uh, respond to noisemakers on social media and what, what have you because it's not part of the mandate given to me by the good people of, uh, of Kogi State. My own is to come and consolidate on the achievement of the previous administrations. Okay. You can confirm that throughout uh, Yabilo's uh, administration. Okay. It has been 100% and we have... It's the, it's the local government that are, uh, are been paid since... Based on the financial resources then. And we thank Mr. President. Let me tell you, as it is today, our allocation has improved because Mr. President is out to serve the good people of this country for prosperity's sake. You said you are 90% exactly. for the local government workers. Yes. At what time do you ever say that you'll be able to pay them 100%? Well, as a financial planner, we are on it, and we are praying and hopeful that in no distance time, you hear the good news. Well, what are you doing uh, to show up the uh, mentally generated revenue? Because